Hi everybody! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create multiple oscillator in uh, using OXF Maxim for Open Frameworks. So the first thing we're going to do is normal, we just need to create a new sketch. Let's call it Keyboard OFX Maxim. So what I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to create a keyboard or a very simple version of it using multiple oscillators. So let's generate that and we go to over here. And here's our new projects. Yeah, so we if you've seen the other tutorials, you go you create a new new sketch and you go to add-ons and you add OFX Maxim as your add-ons. And the first thing we clean this up. So let's see, we have everything. If you look here, everything seems to be alright. All our libraries. Or our library. So I'm gonna go to the view that I like to use. So we have it like that. And there are. And there we are. The first thing we're going to do is just adding our OFX Maxim dot H. And so let's declare our stuff in our H file here. So this is the first thing we're going to do. Like in all this every when we're using Maximilian we need a callback function called audio out which takes three arguments it's a float pointer called output and then int called buffer size and an int called n channels which stands for the number of channels and then we're going to create our buffer size and our sample rate. Then we're going to create a double called notes and another double which is called outputs. It's going to be array of two. There we are. Then we now we're going to create a vector and we're going to call it. So we're going to do vectors of doubles and let's call it n which is going to be stands for notes we're going to fill it now we're going to fill this with a bunch of frequency values so because i want to play the keyboard and i'm going to through, go through a whole octave from uh, c to, to c so we're going to start with some they, these numbers are going to look a bit random, but these are actually the frequencies for these specific notes. So we get 261.63. That's our first note. Second, our second note. Just keep carrying it on. And the last one is going to be five, two, three, comma, two, five. So these are going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have this whole octave, and uh, we're gonna be able to, we're gonna be able to play all of these notes using our um, using our the keys on the keyboard. So and then we're gonna do another vector, and in here we're gonna use a new thing called unique PTR, which stands for unique pointer. And sort of a, a, a like a pointer, but it works a little bit differently. So we're gonna use a unique pointer because pointers can you can have some really nasty pointer errors, and you 
having you're pointing at stuff that doesn't exist in allocated in memory and you can make nasty bugs so using unique pointers you can limit a lot of those errors and then we're going to pass through keys which is going to be a, a unique key class that we're going to use so I'm going to initialize that after this and then we're going to do a maxi mix let's call it my mix and so now before we do anything else in setup let's create our class so we go here and we go to right click and we do new file and we go to OSX source and you have this thing called C++ file and you click on next and you name it and it says here also create a header file so we do um, let's call it key plus you can name it whatever you want the most important bit is what goes inside it now it's asking where you want to put it I want to post it, put it within my other source code so let's create it boop there we are so let's go back to our h.h .h file and now we need to add this here as well we include let's see my key class dot h like that and uh, yeah let's move over to setup in our OFAP and then we move and go to do the class oh semicolon very important uh, so let's go to our OFAP so we just switch these around and let's go through these bits let's set up sample rate equal to 4 4 and then our buffer size equals 512 these are pretty much the same setup that we've been using in all the other tutorials but yeah the more you the more you do the more you practice uh, uh, see that looks like I have some sort of error down here but I need to look at that later it might be something let's finish this up and send debug it later so let's do OF with background and we and what we do now is we want to push these notes into um, our keys which are going to be set in from our class so they're gonna make sense but not, so we're gonna do what we need to do is we need to loop through this whole uh, array so we're gonna do for loop int i equals zero i is less than n dot size so the whole array i plus plus like so and then in here we're going to do keys dot and place this you normally you do pushback because but we're using a unique pointer which means that we need to use and place back instead and in here, because we're using pointers, we need to create using this magical word called new, new key. And in here we do n, i, there we are. So now we're pushing all the notes into our key class so we can access them from there and then we can actually play the notes. And then we go to the other standard thing you need to do. You need to set up a way for you to communicate with your uh, the sound card on your on your computer. So we do something called OF sound stream setup. Let's do and do setup. And this setup takes um, a couple of parameters, arguments. It takes outputs, which is going to be two, zero, which stands for the the inputs. We don't take any inputs. We refer to this object and we do sample rate buffer size and we end up with the number of buffers which is going to be four. So that's all we need for setup and let's move down to underneath draw like before and we, I'm gonna be lazy I'm just gonna copy hold this and then we're gonna do void OF app audio out and here's our callback function. Now we're gonna 
like in the other tutorials, to be able to do anything in an audio out, we need to loop through our buffer size. We do that. I is less than buffer size. I plus plus, la di da, like so. And then in here, we're going to loop through all our all all of our notes again. So we're gonna do four and i equals maybe you should use another let's do j just for clarity in that I use a zero j is less than you can use whatever variable you want and it's end of size boom and j plus plus so now we have a for loop within a for loop here and then we oop, then we're gonna do notes which is our double that we initialized over here notes plus equals mm, keys j pointing is using pointers to play which is going to be a function that you're going to write in our class and now we're going to divide it by n dot size and then the size is 8, but for clarity we're using so because we're looping through it. Because when you playing oscillators like this, to make them sound good and to make like a proper sound, you need to actually divide them by the number of the ones you want to play, because otherwise you the whole sound will be messed up. So this is why that's why I do that. I can maybe show you later on and see what it sounds if you're not dividing by the right right number of oscillators. Uh, or notes in this case, um, and then we do we go. Th we're still within the buffer size for loop, and we do my mix dot stereo, and we do notes loop outputs and zero point five and zero point five is the uh, the panning, so now we're panning it to be in the middle, not left or right. Because if you do one, it's going or zero, it's going to be left, one is going to be right, and 0 0.5 is in the middle of that. And the last thing we need to do is we need to do the output. So the output, same as the other tutorials, times n number of channels, and then we said equal to outputs with an s. And that's our well, left. Then we do that i times number of channels plus one equals outputs one. And that's actually all we need in the. Um, Audi out callback function. So let's go to our class and um, make this happen. So when you create a like this, when you're adding new files, you get this setup already. And you need to write your code within these and if and and in def. So you do it within here. So if you want to add something in here, you need to do that too. Um, so so this is our H file right now. And um, we're gonna do class key, and we're gonna do it pub. We're gonna do public because we can. So we can access it whenever we want. And in here, we're going to create a maxi OSC. So that's a mass. That's an oscillator we're creating now. OS. Let's go OSC. And this is not going to like this because we need to also add include uh, of x maxim dot h in this file as well. So it understands what a maxi oscillator is. Then we're going to do a maxi env, which stands for envelope, which is going to be our tac. Um, it can be our attack, delay, sustain, and release that we're gonna use so we can get this really nice sounding keyboard. 
and then we're gonna set up a double and we're gonna call it frec we can call it stands for frequency and then we're gonna do the constructor which is going to take a double underscore f which is gonna be the it's taking in a, a frequency and then we're gonna do a remember we did the play inside the um, ROF app uh, um, or the out callback function and this is where it is and then we're going to do a void on so when we and we have void off so, so we can trigger our sample when we click on it so really short really simple actually not a lot going to it and then we go over to the CPP file and do some more fun stuff so we, yeah so you see key class H is already de defined for us because we need to do that so they can communicate with each other and then we do key key and what it takes yeah it takes a double underscore f takes a frequency and in here we set frec to equals underscore f so whatever in passing through this the, the constructor it will be set to frec when we do that and then we can set up the envelope so we're going to env dot set attack and we're going to set that to 1000 that's in milliseconds so that's going to be one second attack env dot set maybe set dk is it delay I want d delay we're going to set decay later and it's going to be one then env dot set st stain and it takes a, a one env dot set let's see what we want here we want so they attack sustain uh, attack, delay, sustain, and release. So in release in milliseconds is going to be that to one thousand. You can play around with these numbers if you want. Your what is this not liking? Might be doing something wrong. Yeah, of course it's decay. Sorry, me. I'm just being stupid. So attack, decay, sustain, and release. So that's all the envelopes that we want. And that goes inside of inside of that, and then we're gonna create our void. Other so on, on this we're gonna do void key the columns on we call the on function, and it's gonna be env dot trigger equals one. So we mean equals on and void key. Mm, off and that's going to be the same env dot trigger equals zero so that's on and off really simple and then we do the last one is our double key play and because we're using a double here so void we're not returning anything but we need only need to return a double value so we're going to do return and we're going to do env dot adsr stands for attacks decay sustain and release and then in here we call our oscillator sine wave and we put our frequency in this in here and then we call that we do that env dot trigger like so so that's going to return our that value that we want and when we play it so we what we need to do now is that we need to go back to OF app first of all I need to see if that um, yeah it seems to like it now because now I added my classes a keys so all the thing seems to work 
So the thing we need to do now is we need to go to key press and key release where we want to now we want to trigger these samples by because now everything is looping through, everything is playing, but now we just want to trigger each sample when we press a certain key. So now it's going to be just a lot of repeating the same code. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of copy and pasting. Hopefully I'll not do any errors by doing that. So we're going to do so we do keys, which is our, our vector, and we call it we call the first element in that. And we're pointing that to our on. Really straightforward actually. And now we're going to repeat this every single key that we want to use. So we're just going to do S. So we're going to just follow it. It's going to do A, S, D, F, G, H, J, and K. All those numbers in a row. So just keep it really simple. So it's similar like a keyboard. Um, and we do D. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I just made a mistake. One, two, three. Yeah, so we have 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have all our notes. We're going to copy that. So when we release those keys, so we trigger on. And what we do then is that we're going to trigger off. So I'm going to just copy and paste because we want exactly the same values. Oh, I just copy it again. Boom. And there we are. If everything is um, working, you need to double check here that I included everything. Yeah, it seems to be all right. It's hard to know. Let's, it doesn't seem to throw me any errors yet. Let's try and see if this can actually run. Or I need to, if I need to debug anything. Look at that. Let's see if it works. If you have sound. So we have one note. So that's the whole octave. We can play chords. We can so we can harmonize. So there we are. A really simple. You can play around. You can add more notes. You can add more keys. You can actually change the octave around. And yeah, you can. This is a really best way to maybe. It's a start at least. I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, keep on coding and uh, thank you so much. Bye.